Well, to be part of the Whistler Film Festival for me is really a big honor um, because I've been following the festival and it's a mainstream film festival and for being able to present Shades of Winter to the audience in Whistler, like home of free skiing, is pretty awesome. Well, actually, it was pretty fun because I released the second Shades of Winter film in fall 2014 and uh, I felt I want to continue and uh, my partners were like, yeah, just, just do it again. We'll be, we'll be helping you and I was like, well, I have never ever in my whole life done anything um, that was the same what I just did. So I've always done something different and I was like, well, the next film I'm going to do is a feature film length. I want to do cinema film. I want to do 90 minutes and um, I guess it's pretty cool that I did not know what I got myself into with aiming for 90 minutes. Um, it got me into lots of challenges, of course. Um, but yeah, uh, it's been fun. It's been two years full on production um, and uh, here we are. Filming in the mountains has a lot of preparation and that's what you barely ever see with all the big ski films because um, what comes along is like we have the guides, we have waiting periods, we have all these down days where you actually wait for the best weather and for the conditions to allow you actually to go out and everything needs to align to really like shoot big mountain. Um, of course there's such days when you're like ski trees and especially like in Canada we had an amazing segment in uh, the Monashies, um, and there we didn't really care about the weather, um, but in the end it's a lot of preparation, a lot of work. The filmers need to be good skiers because they need to come along and set up their cameras on um, yeah, tricky, tricky spots and uh, it would actually be nice to highlight the filmers probably even more sometimes. I'm super happy that um, the girls I work with are really, we're all good friends. It's not just fake, it's not just for the film, we really do um, stay in touch all over the year. We are friends, we, came, we became friends, skiing connected us throughout the past years and being able to travel is, is amazing. So that's a good thing, like for none of us actually it feels, work, it feels like work. For the skiers obviously it does never feel like work anyway, but um, also for, for the filmers, for me being both uh, the filmmaker and uh, an athlete, it's always like going on a trip, you go on a trip with friends. The response has been awesome, uh, not just from men and women, but also from little kids and, and, and girls. And if, um, for me, it's all about inspiring, like getting, from, I always used to say, um, your inspiration is my motivation. Um, I wouldn't do the film just to have it on the, on the screen back home in my living room, so that doesn't make sense. I really want to get the word out of it. I like. I want to. I want to inspire with the performance we do and uh, the characters, the personalities that are there. Like everyone is so unique and uh, confident. And I think if we can inspire with the way we live and the way we do and the way we ski um, and transfer that to other people, that's my big goal. If you could do anything in Whistler, what would it be? <laughs> so if I can choose, I would choose one of those really big powder days and just go shred. 